Good morning everyone! Uh, today is Saturday, um, I have a few plans for today and I thought I would actually try to say what I have in mind before it actually happens and um, it's not that early, it's almost 12, we have a table reserved at a local cafe where we have breakfast during the weekend and we love it, <laughs> it's become like a little bit of an expensive holiday tradition but I love it so we're going to do that and then I have to figure out how to do the monthly illustration because I still have to do that and I've been postponing it and I just really need to do it so I'll have to figure out what to do and I think I know um, I think I want to redraw an old drawing and I'll show you that when I start sketching but include the boy and the fox so it's kind of like a double <laughs> illustration thing and I just I think it will fit really well with the Valentine's theme, so we'll see what happens. But right now we'll go to the cafe and have breakfast. Okay, so <laughs> okay, so since I think it's a good idea to actually talk a bit about the process while I'm doing it before I actually finish it, I thought I would talk about the monthly illustration and what I had in mind. So you've seen me sketch this now. Um, I started with that sketch, which is kind of a very rough one, and I ended up with this, and I'm pretty happy with how it looks. So this is actually a redraw of a drawing I drew a few years ago. And I thought it would be very lovely to do for the monthly illustration. So um, my original idea was to have the boy and the fox, which is going to be here now, <laughs> very small, meet like somebody they loved, um, or like their other counterparts. I thought it would be nice to do something a bit more interesting and a bit more out there. Um, so I drew this drawing, I don't know how many years ago, um, but I still really love it. And I made this little caption and I thought, you know what, the little red bird could actually become the red fox and it would be kind of something new. Um, so what the caption says is that when the beast finally fell asleep, the little red bird asked, why haven't you run away from this foul beast yet, the little one? The girl smiled and replied, because I love him. And it's kind of like a Beauty and the Beast story and I thought that would be nice. Um, so I think that was... 2004, <laughs> so it's four years ago. Um, I quite like it. This was on um, watercolor with really, really cheap watercolors. And um, it's kind of sad that it isn't in watercolor now, but I'll try making it kind of look like watercolor when I do the, the final. So the girl will be there, and then the wolf will kind of be hidden in this big rock form, form here, so you kind of have to look for it. Okay, let's do it.
so I'm unsure about the girl's pose. The original pose was closer to this this one, where she's leaning and you see it from the back and she's looking up. Um, and I guess I kind of still like it, but I'm not sure if I want to use it now. Then I have this one sketch, but I feel like, I don't know, maybe it works because she's leaving them away from them. So she doesn't want to go with them at all. So maybe that one is very good for this. Or I made another one where she's leaning towards the wolf, but she's l everything's looking up at them. And I think this one might work. I'm just thinking about um, what leads the eye, really. That's why I'm sketching a lot of options. Because um, now her weight is towards the wolf, which is like her heart is open. <laughs> this is very poetical. Poet poetic? A little poetic. Like, she's leaning against the wolf, her heart is with the wolf, she doesn't want to leave him, but she's, her attention is at the people who, who wants to rescue her. Um, this one feels weird because... I don't know. Mm, I kind of like it. Then you have the old one, which is very bottom heavy and she's looking up at them. I have to probably have to ask my boyfriend just for advice. <sighs> okay. All right. I have talked with my boyfriend, and he thinks this pose is the best, and I do agree. <laughs> Even though I kind of like the other ones, but this one, she's looking back into space, which means that it just feels better. So we're going for that one. Just have to refine it a bit more, and then I'll do line art. It's um, Sunday and this is what I did yesterday. Um, I didn't get to film film, like a different camera angle for all the line art, but I will have included the Procreate um, speed paints, so you can see that. I'm quite happy with it. I had to go back a few times to make it closer to the sketch, because I like the sketch a lot. <laughs> but I do like how the wolf came out and pretty happy with the boy and the fox over there. It's a, very, it's a lot different doing line art for the fox and the boy on iPad compared to my computer, so it took a bit of getting used to, so it, it probably will look a little bit different at some points, but yeah. Are you? Are you? So I'm gonna try doing some colors now and see how that goes. But yeah, Sunday, go work some more.
Okay, hi guys, it's um, Tuesday. I didn't check in yesterday or check in. Um, sorry, this, I didn't um, vlog anything yesterday, but we had a really cool stream where I, I want to show you guys what I did. So, you guys remember last week, hopefully you remember, I drew this little guy. And a lot of guys, you guys mentioned that it was like a Hufflepuff. Well, one person mentioned that, oh, it's like a Hufflepuff, um, maybe you're a Hufflepuff. And then I thought, wouldn't it be cool if I made one for each of the houses? So on stream yesterday, I started um, this Slytherin piece. So it's the same style as the, the other one. And then I also have them pretty much... Wait, I'm going to show all these. All the houses will be here. So you have the badger that I did. This one is just half finished there. Then I'll have the Gryffindor and the Ravenclaw. Only thing is that Ravenclaw is like animal, it's actually an eagle, but I want to make these kind of like loosely inspired by the houses, not like officially. So we're doing a raven. <laughs> but yeah, um, so what I'm gonna do now is um, something a little bit more special, and that is drawing a birthday card for my boyfriend. He requested a space fox a month ago or something like that and I thought I would do that. His birthday is in two days which is the 15th of February and I bought him a lot of gifts and I want to do a card as well so gotta do that now. Got my tea. Let's draw some foxes. Hopefully you didn't hear that. I think it sounds like they're watching TV. <laughs>
guys, um, it's Wednesday and really I should be drawing but it's super late and I really don't want to. <laughs> um, I did finish um, my boyfriend's birthday presents yesterday and I printed it today, it looks really nice. And I'll show you tomorrow when I give it to him and print yeah, the printed version because um, it's quite cute. Um, but I still have to do the monthly illustration that you knew that I started on, but I haven't really gotten further than this. Oh, it's so blue. It's not supposed to be that blue. Um, but it's not focusing. It's so rough. I still need so much cleanup. I don't know. I felt good about it before, now I don't feel good about it anymore, but I guess I'll just um, draw on. Gosh, I think maybe the video will be a day late, so I'll post it on Wednesday. I just um, will spend tomorrow probably drawing it, and then also I'll have Phil's birthday dinner, so... Hmm. See how the time probably flies. <laughs> oh well, we'll figure it out. Maybe this will be next week. I don't. I don't. I don't can't be next week. But, um, we'll figure it out. Okay, I might have a bubble bath. Okay, bye. Welcome back to another video. Um, the last thing you saw was probably me showing the print of um, my boyfriend's present, which was the Space Fox. Um, not all of it is filmed from a different angle. You probably got some of the Procreate footage. Um, but it was a pretty cool illustration, and at least you got a full one. So, um, first off, <laughs> I'm going to talk about projects in a second. But first off, happy Valentine's Day. It was yesterday. For me, today is Thursday. I was supposed to like vlog a little bit and say like I, how much I love you guys and how much I love that you guys are hanging around and liking my videos and all of that. And I hope you guys had a lovely Valentine's with yourself or with a loved one or your family. Or if you don't celebrate Valentine's Day like me and my boyfriend, then I hope you had a lovely day. <laughs> um, we don't celebrate just because um, his birthday is on the 15th. So we celebrate his birthday instead of Valentine's Day and it seems to work pretty well and I can go all out with presents. Um, and then my birthday is the 14th of March, which is like the white day, so it kind of works out in a Japanese fashion. And I just realized I have my hat on. I got this hat as a birthday present from my grandma, but it arrived really early, like a month early. So I opened it and put it on. And I really like it. <laughs> so thank you, grandma, if you're watching this, she probably is. Um, so yeah, happy Valentine's Day, and thank you so much for 6,000 subscribers, we jumped 1,000 in a week. Shh, that's a lot, I didn't even realise it was like a week since last I talked about hitting 5k. Wow, I'm growing a lot quicker than I thought we would. Um, <laughs> so, um, this week, you saw me start on the monthly illustration, which was partly the monthly illustration and partly a redraw and I didn't finish it. <laughs> One, because I wanted to do the illustration for Phil and my time just disappeared and two, because I lost the passion for it, I didn't like it at the end of it, <laughs> which is pretty bad. Um, I don't like when that happens, I just, I just don't want to finish it and it just looks weird to me, I just want to read through the whole thing now. Um, I'll show you the, the how far I got, it's like roughly coloured and line art is done and everything, so you, I'll show you that. Um, but it may, made me start thinking about, all the whole week I've been so frustrated with not having time to do the children's book that I want to do. Um, because I had to do the monthly illustration and the, I started the teacup set on the stream and I thought that was really fun and the the space fox and I just didn't have time and it really annoyed me 
Um, and then Jake Parker, who I really look up to and also have, has a YouTube channel, um, who also said the finish not perfect, which is my motto now basically, um, he posted a new video about finishing your projects. <sighs> and it just made me think, I just have to finish it. And I looked at so many other children's books that like are finished and they look lovely and even though they look lovely to me they probably don't look like that to the person who created them um so <laughs> I'm not gonna finish the monthly illustration because I want to treat this book project as a monthly challenge even though it won't be a monthly challenge I want it to go all out just focus on that um, of course on stream I want to do the teacup set so I'll save it for the streams because I think that will be nice because people like when you do fine art on streams. Um, but for the weekly thing I really really need to do the book and I, I just have to get it out of the way. <laughs> I just have to finish it. Um, so that will be the plan from now on. Um, I'm sorry if you really like my monthly illustrations, they're just really big. And I want to do something monthly, but I, if I'm going to do a book, I can't have to do like a giant illustration for a monthly illustration as well. So I have to find a middle ground for that. Maybe if I do a smaller doodle illustration thing. Um, I'll have to figure it out. I might actually make this month's monthly illustration a competition, but don't hold... Don't take my word on that, um, we'll see how that goes. So, yeah. Since that is out of the picture, I'm so sorry that all you guys are joining when I've like, I've created a schedule and I just jump right off it and start doing vlogs instead and I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this is this is the life of an artist, guys. This is how it is. So I guess the vlogs kind of gives you a look into an artist that doesn't have a clue what she's doing and how it's like to juggle a full-time job that where you draw and all your projects and how little time you have and it's just crazy so yeah it's a lie it's a, it's a peek into my life basically um but what i want to do because uh, something i do really want to bring back is the tutorial tuesdays and I want to keep sharing knowledge that way and I want to keep them really really short and sweet and post them on Tuesdays um, so I want to figure out how to do that this weekend and make a few and then post it on Tuesdays um, I just want to make quite a few first before I start posting it and so I have some backups in case for later um, but the vlogs will continue like this, where I do illustrations and all that, and streams, of course. And then the tutorials will be like an extra little treat. <laughs> um, because I wanted to do that for the Q&A session for this, but I thought, well, it, then I could just make it for tutorial, tutorial Tuesday. Um, so I hope you guys would like to see that. I do need suggestions for what to teach you guys how to draw, so you can leave that in the comment section. I do have the few first ones that I do want to do. Um, that I think will be really fun and I think you guys will like. Uh, of course I have to f continue on the how to draw face and all that. Um, but yeah, that's the plan for now. I bought a little very cheap book from Wilson's, is that what it's called? I think so. And it's called Project Book and it has these little tabs. And I'm gonna make one for Blackbird and just go all out. So yeah, I have to finish that book. Okay, so I thought we'd do another Q&A section. Um, I know I talked a lot about other stuff already, but I think Q&A sections and the end of videos are very nice. Because then you get an extra info, maybe, from, about something that you didn't realize you did want to know. So. Um, I'm just going to read through the comments and I will reply to the most interesting ones and if you do want to ask me a question you can either leave it here or um, on Instagram or Twitter and um, there's one post there that you have to find and then yeah I'll read them okay so I'm gonna answer this question but I know from who it is it's from uh, one of my colleagues at work 
and um, his username is the middle sky and you should check him out on Instagram he has really cool stuff um, and he asks uh, what has been your favorite thing about working in the studio my favorite thing about working in the studio is the community and the collaboration and the fact that you can get up and go over to talk to the leads that is working on the project and you can brainstorm and come up with cool ideas. Um, I do like the idea of freelancing but when it comes to concept art a lot of the main thing about concept art is coming up with ideas and designing stuff so actually being in the studio is very very beneficial for that. Um, so going up to talk to people um, and just come up with new ideas and having that moment where you both go oh that would be really cool and then doing it and it just makes you excited to work and I think that's my favorite part about working in the studio is the people and the brainstorming. <laughs> Acid Toe asks do you hate or love people copy your art? I've never, have I answered this before? I don't know. Um, I don't think I've ever had anyone copy my art. I don't think I'm that well known. Um, and I think as long as they didn't claim it as them, like theirs, I wouldn't mind at all. Like if you want to copy my art to practice, um, to practice how I draw something, then you have to call it a study. You can't call it your own art. Um, but you can say, I studied this artist's work and this is what I did and tag me. That's how I feel about that. Um, drawing with waffles, what what's the oldest drawing you've made that you still own or have access to? I actually found a really really old comic that I did that I really want to do a, a redraw of and I'll post it up here because I know I have it on file and I'll, I'll show it here. <laughs> and that's the oldest, well there is older ones but I don't have a picture of it um, and I think I'm like three. I don't know, I'll show you the one here and I think I'm five. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've been talking for a while. Okay, I think that's it for this q and A. It was all from Instagram, I'm sorry, but I keep talking for a while. So I think I will stop the Q&A there. Um, anything I should say before I round this off? Yes, I have. I got this this week. It's um, a really, really cute art book from someone that I follow on Twitter. And she actually gave me the, f number f the first one of 150 and it makes me so happy. And I just really, I just really love her art. It just makes me really, really happy. And she's a major inspiration. So I'll link her down in the description. Um, so that happened this week. Um, anyway, I think that's it for this week. I hope you guys like this video and I always feel weird about making these like vlogs, but I hope you guys like it and I really I really do enjoy doing this and um I hope you guys don't mind this type of video. I hope you will be happy with the return of the Tuesday tips, hopefully. <laughs> you can't take my word for it yet, but I'll try. Please cheer for me when it comes to the children's book because I really, really <laughs> really want to do it. It's just nerve-wracking. I talked about this a lot in my videos, but the last illustration that I did did really get me hyped, so I just have to do it. Okay. I hope you guys have a lovely weekend, and I will see you guys on Monday for another stream. I will do more of the Harry Potter Hogwarts houses tea sets, because they're really cute, and I will do Ravenclaw, I think. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy. So, bye. See ya.